Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another Patreon sponsored reaction video. And this one comes to you courtesy of John Johnson, who has requested that I react to Bigata HK Yamada's First Time Monkey's Anime Reviews number 3 by Monkey Jones. And, uh, yeah, this one. Uh, I get my Patreon requests, the actual requests, at the start of each month after I, I send up a message after the payments process and people reply to it with what they want to see. And, uh,. <laughs> When I saw this one, I was pretty shocked. I mean, uh, this isn't the sort of thing that I would have ever anticipated that someone would request. Uh, I mean, anime reviews, yes, but like, this anime. <laughs> Which, if you haven't heard of it, I'm not at all surprised, because this isn't an anime anyone remembers or probably cares about. Uh, Bigata HK came out like eight or nine years ago, and it's basically just disposable, etch etchy trash. Uh, it's like uh, a comedy about a girl who really wants to have sex and uh, it's like pervy and it's like a teen girl so it's like just uh, kind of a bit uncomfortable and weird uh, I don't know why I watched it it's not even like this really Yuri forward thing there are like other girls but there's like a main guy and it's all about that so I, I don't know why I was really drawn to it I think just because I watch I was watching at that time like just about all the anime that were coming out like most of them uh, like if it was remotely watchable I would watch it in like 2010 or whatever was whatever this was. So I saw this, and uh, I don't remember much of it. It's not like it, it, it's not a classic. It's from that same year. I think 2010. That's like one of the better years of anime ever. But this is not something that like people think about still. This is just some really uh, raunchy, lewd comedy show that uh, like was kind of gross, uh, <laughs> but. Now I'm being asked to watch a review of it, which is weird. I uh, don't know why. I've never talked about the show. I think it's on my it's on my anime list, but I think I gave it like a six or seven, because uh, that's what it's worth. Maybe that's even too kind. I I, I don't really know. I, I I mean maybe I'm being harsh on it. I, I don't remember hating it, like uh, despising it, but like <laughs> I don't think it was very good. I seem to remember it wasn't. I. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a very trashy show. And uh, I I mean, maybe this is going to be like just a complete roast of it. Like just or I, I don't know why I would be asked to watch a review of this show, but uh, I'm interested to find out like uh, what is this even going to be like uh, a, a, a video based on this that people want me to see, or at least one person wants me to see. That's the thing. It could be something that only one person in the entire world wants me to see. Uh, and if so, that's fine. We'll, we'll do this. We'll do this for you, John. Uh, but hopefully it's fun. Let's get started and find out. Bigata H. Kai, Yamada's First Time is a genuinely hilarious anime about high school romance. Is it? The story follows Yamada, a 15-year-old high school student whose goal is to have sex with 100 different guys yeah. by the end of high school. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a show about a 15-year-old girl <laughs> trying to have sex? Isn't that kind of creepy and perverted? Yeah. I can see where this viewpoint is coming from, but there are many things you have to consider. First of all, Yamada's first time is a Japanese anime that uh -huh. takes place in Japan. And the age of consent in Japan is 13, which means by Japanese standards, Yamada is well over the appropriate age to I... be pursuing sexual <laughs> desire. The main problem is that most of us are thinking about the connection between uh, age and sex from an American viewpoint. And in yeah, context with the rest of the world, the problem. this viewpoint is narrow-minded and highly problematic. I'm sensing some the sarcasm States, there in the his age voice. age of consent ranges state by state from 16 to 18. However, in every other first world country on earth, the age of consent is much lower. Is in it? China, it is 14. I mean, in Spain, it is 13. Wow. In Germany, it is 14, and etc. I mean... The problem with the United States... Is it really every country, cultural though? cultural traditions passed down from the Puritans are still in full effect. And as a result, sex is considered to be a highly taboo subject. 
What most people don't seem to understand is that being attracted to 15-year-old girls is completely natural <laughs> and is not considered pedophilia. A pedophile is somebody yeah, who is attracted I mean, to children aged 10 and technically. under. Technically? This is completely unnatural because these children haven't undergone puberty yet. There are two other classes of underage attraction that most people like to ignore. The first is hebophilia, attraction to people aged 11 through 15, uh. and the other is ephibiophilia, attraction to people aged 15 to 19. So no, being attracted to a 15-year-old girl doesn't make you a pedophile. Uh. It makes you an ephibiophile. And there is a huge difference that people need to understand. My uncle Alex was recently arrested uh, for having sex with a 17-year-old girl. Oh. And he is now serving a three-year well, prison sentence. There's no justice in this fucking world oh. when a man can be imprisoned You've for entered having full sex on with rant a girl territory, yeah. that the rest of the world considers to be a mature adult. And now he's going to be labeled as a pedophile for the rest of his life, even though he isn't a fucking yeah. pedophile. I, uh... He's, if anything, an ephibiophile. You fucking people are so obsessed with age like that's the only thing that matters. What we need to do is establish a criteria for what makes somebody attractive despite age. Just look at these two girls. The one on the left is obviously more attractive due to her curvy body, right? Well, guess what? I had the ages mixed oh. around. Yeah, you were the year old. Who's the fucking pedophile now, you pieces of shit? Every single day, I daydream of finding one of the people who sat on the jury that put my innocent uncle in prison so I can be their fucking face in with a bat. <laughs> if I showed those motherfuckers these same photos, they would be more attracted to the 15-year-old girl, too. But those hypocritical bastards would never You can kind of tell them the face. Instead, they just cast judgment upon their fellow man for something that they themselves are guilty of. Although nobody should feel guilty at all because there's nothing fucking wrong with being attracted to a victim. Great review of this anime. God damn it! I just want to fucking kill them! <laughs> I want to kill them all! I want to sneak into their houses and hack in them to death! Those disgusting fucking hypocrites! They're gonna pay for what they did! They're gonna fucking pay! Well, this really devolved. I, uh... Of the girls. I, uh, oh, okay. Okay. Uh. Well, that was the thing. <laughs> I can kind of see why. Why he wanted me to watch this now. I mean, it was a pretty great rant. I, uh, yeah. Uh,. And a good point, but I mean, it's still a bit creepy. Uh, a show like this that would uh, just so, just the thought of it. <laughs> like a hundred guys, I forgot about that point. That's uh, That really was what she was trying to do. That's not an exaggeration. She wanted to literally <laughs> sleep with a hundred guys. And uh, it's just this like skeevy gross anime uh but that's beside the point of uh like anything here because it wasn't even about the anime it was about uh this only tangentially related point of uh there being a difference though i mean i mean it's still the law like uh there's also that perspective i mean it's a complicated issue uh 17 that's stupid that you would uh, get like prison for that because uh, that's like I mean uh, it's... but I don't know I don't know it's, it's not really something I want to talk about anyway just because it's something where people could easily take your words out of context I don't, I don't think anyone's gonna do that to me but like uh, just in general uh, this video it was an entertaining rant that's uh what i'll say this was a very uh <laughs> very well put together rant and uh just the crazed uh 
intensity that it built up to was great and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I kind of love how little it talked about the anime because the anime is so like empty it's not really I mean I, I can't even remember much beyond the skeevy premise like I, 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 I it might have been funny I seem to remember some of it being funny. I mean, I watched it. I didn't stop watching it, so that means it probably had something in it that appealed to me. Uh, but I, I think, uh, I think more than anything, it was just the audacity of it that really drew people to it and had people talking about it at the time. Uh, not that there were a ton of people talking about it. I think it like, oh, got some people all uh, worked up because of what it was, but. Uh, like, yeah, I, I don't think it was like something. It wasn't really a big deal, especially not in that year. Uh, like the year that came out, just the stuff that was coming out with the anime that was like there with it. Uh, there was a lot more that was actually worth talking about. So uh, it wasn't beyond begot HK. That wasn't the focus of people's lives, anime wise. Uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this was this was good. This was a fun little video. Uh, I yeah, <laughs> not really much more I can say on the subject. I, I, I it's kind of kind of a bit uncomfortable, honestly. Like uh, yeah, but. Uh, I mean, this guy, he was he was definitely passionate. I wonder if his other reviews are similar, if they all devolve into bizarre rants. Uh, and if that is the case, I wonder if this was even completely true, if the whole uncle story, or if that's just some random guy. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> if he's just doing it for the comedy, then, yeah, that's... Uh, I respect that, too. But, I mean, if it's a real story, then that sucks. I mean, uh, yeah... Like, yeah. But anyway, uh, enough of the, the yeah, just enough about that. Uh, if you want, if you have a video that you want me to watch for Patreon, uh, you can check out my Patreon. <laughs> I completely failed at that. If you have a video that you would like me to watch, uh, feel free to check out my Patreon. At the twenty dollars level, you can uh, back me, and then uh, each month. Uh, that you do back me, then I'll uh, let you pick a new video and I'll react to it at some point in that month. Uh, if that interests you, go check it out. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> this video kind of really threw me off. But uh, yeah, hope you liked the reaction. Let me know if you did and see you in the next one.